Hello everyone, this is Justin, an application specialist at Rock Tech International. Today we'll be going over how to use the 3D models and visualization tools. To start off, we'll go over the overlays. The two most basic are the drawing and the takeoff. Generally, the view you normally see is this. However, you can adjust this by turning off the drawing and showing only the takeoff, or turning off the takeoff and showing only the drawing. However, these are not our only overlay options. If we head to the top and select the drop down menu here, you'll see that we also have existing, cut and fill, propose, and strat. If you select any one of these, it will overlay our current image with a model. You can see with the existing model, it shows all the existing elevations on top of our takeoff. We could also turn the drawing back on and include all three at the same time. Or, turn off the drawing and the takeoff and view just the existing data. If we head back to the drop down menu, you'll notice that in addition to the different overlays, we also have, have two different tools we can use. The elevation check and the cross section tool. The cross section tool allows us to view a cross section of any two points. If we left click once and left click again, we can actually see a cross section of what's happening underneath the ground. Meanwhile, the elevation check allows us to view the elevation of any point that we choose. If we hover over an area, you'll notice in the beige bar along the top where it says elevations, you can see the existing, the proposed, and the cutter fill quantity for any point that we pick. We can even zoom all the way in and do this on a pixel level. You'll notice that either one of these tools will work with any of the overlays, including the cut and fill, which will show varying degrees of cut and fill, the proposed, which shows all the proposed elevations, and even the strata. So far, each of these views have been in 2D. However, we can view 3D. If we turn off the strata map by heading over to the drop-down menu and selecting strata again, it will take us back to the drawing and takeoff. If we turn off the drawing and select 3D, you can now use the control key plus the different arrows to rotate the entire takeoff up, down, left, right, or even in a three-dimensional plane. Once we have our takeoff oriented the way we wish to view it, we can come back to the drop-down menu and select the overlay we wish to view. I'm going to choose the proposed surface, and you'll notice that it will draw the proposed surface directly in the same view we are currently viewing. We can even turn the takeoff off and view it with a little less clutter. From here, you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in or the zoom in option. Alternatively, we can head over to View, select View Settings, and manually change the degree and rotation we wish to view it at. For instance, we could head to a 65 degree tilt and a 25 degree rotation with only a 200% zoom. Before moving on to the visualization option, it's important to note that every individual cell located on this model carries a direct one-to-one -one relationship with your takeoff quantities. We are able to integrate your takeoff quantities to this model in such a fashion because RockTech uses a high cell density grid method when calculating quantities, as opposed to a low cell density or a 10 method when calculating quantities. It is important to remember that through the use of visualization libraries, it is possible to show models which look similar to this, but don't actually use the same information to build your quantities on your takeoff. That is why RockTech includes the visualization option and a true one-to-one -one 3D model. Now, with that being said, we can head over to the visualization option. You'll notice the visualization icon is directly next to the 3D option. Simply left-click it, and it'll take us to the 3D model. You can right-click anywhere to turn the animation off, to turn wireframe on or off, and if you simply just right-click, 
you can read the different hotkeys for each of the items. For instance, we can change the elevation magnification with the control page up and page down keys and the wireframe density by simply hitting page up and page down. This can be useful during error analysis when viewing your takeoff. Also, don't forget that you can simply left click and hold and drag to move around and right click and hold and drag to change the camera angle. Once we have a view that we are satisfied with and we wish to print it out, you can come along the top, left click and hold the entire window, and drag it back onto WinX Master. From here, you can come over to File and print the graphics. This concludes our visualization and 3D tutorial. For more information, please click on the next video link below or give us a call at 800-826-7763.